I don't realize the men standing with the cameras at the ballroom's entrance are calling out to me until a man with a Jawar Times lanyard scuttles over to me and my nine-year-old son, Albie, and asks in heavily accented English, Are you Princess Jones of the reality show, Her Majesty? Albie snorts, and I resist the temptation to look over both shoulders like I'm in an 80s movie. I can't believe the photographer from the Jawar Times mistook me for the other bridesmaid in my boss's wedding. The former reality star turned lawyer, Princess Jones. Though she insists everyone call her Prin these days. I've been feeling out of place at the reception for my employer's destination wedding ever since we arrived in the three-story ballroom a few minutes ago. The festivities are taking place in the much more conservative United Arab Kingdom's emirate, Jawar, which happens to be ruled by one of the groom's best friends from boarding school. Unfortunately, I had misinterpreted the instruction to dress modestly for the reception after the wedding. So while I'm wearing a simple blue jersey long sleeve maxi dress I'd gotten on sale at TJ Maxx, pretty much every other woman in the glittering ballroom is wearing elegant, floor-sweeping gowns. Even the guy with the camera is dressed better than me in a well-tailored suit. Like attending luxurious weddings in the King of Jawar's outrageously opulent palace is something he did every day. Well, it's definitely not something I do every day. Sorry, I'm not Prin. I'm Mika, I tell the photographer. Holtz and Sylvie's nanny. A nanny? The photog squints at me from under his slicked back hair, suspicion simmering in his eyes. So you are related to the nanny Holt Carlson, the CEO of Calmart, has decided to marry? He concludes. Another snort from Albie, and I find myself smothering a laugh of my own as I let him know, no, we're not related. She's the former nanny, and I'm the current one. Total background. Nobody important, I promise you. He squints again. Just the nanny, not Princess Jones. I think he's trying to figure out if I'm lying and purposely making him miss his chance to photograph the only television famous American attending this wedding. Seriously, I'm just a nanny, I assure him. Nothing to see here. You should totally move on to somebody way more important than me. As if co-signing my not-important-at-all claim, a flurry of Arabic suddenly bursts from the ballroom's entrance, and all the other photographers gather around a couple entering with their daughter. I don't speak Arabic, but I do understand one word the photogs are calling out. Shika. I think that means princess, I tell Albi. I wouldn't be surprised if one or more of the family being photographed were royalty. The father is tall and lean, and the mother is elegant and thin. They're dressed way more appropriately than Albie and me for the wedding, but stand out just the same. Her in an intricately embroidered sari with a hajib, him in a long, collarless suit coat. They're both classically beautiful in ways anyone on both sides of the globe could agree equals super good looking. Her features are flower petal delicate and come together in a way that makes her seem to glow with ethereal beauty. He has kind, intelligent brown eyes, strong cheekbones, and a strong jawline underneath a well-trimmed beard. He looks like a Hollywood movie icon with a brown overlay. And the little girl standing between them with a happy smile as the cameras flash? She's an amalgamation of them both. Cute as a button in a miniature version of her mother's sari. Her hair is dark and wavy like her father's, and hints of her mother's ethereal beauty are already hanging out around her huge eyes, which are wide like her mother's, but also sharp like her father's. She's perfect, just like her parents, and just the opposite of me and Albie.